everyone, and welcome to the Champions League. It's the 2023 quarterfinals matchup between Fenerbahce Open Istanbul and A. Carado Imoko Corneliano of Italy. You see the players there of Corneliano coming into the Palo Verde, their home gym here in Italy in Treviso. They are ready for a big matchup, and it's going to be such an important one for them. Everybody knows it. My name's Key Michael. I'm excited to be your host for tonight as we are back in Italy for part two of this iconic face-off. Now, last week in Istanbul, everything went the way of Fenerbahce. They took down last year's Champions League sim silver medalist. Here they are coming into the hall. It aired them the captain there, as you can see. Big part of this team for a long, long time. They broke a 23-match winning streak in the process of that win last week. So a big match for them. Huge performances out of some of these players that you can see coming in there today. Brazilian setter, one of them. Christina, you play a great game in Istanbul. What do you expect in this game in Treviso? Yes, uh, we play a incredible game. Uh, we were so proud with our team that uh, we could win against Timoko. Everyone knows that Timoko are a really experienced team, really good players, really uh, incredible team about achievement and everything that they did uh, years and years. So I hope today will be a really hard game. It will be even more harder because I know that uh, these players are uh, players who will never stop and push it until the end especially in their gym with their uh, fans. I hope that we keep our mind on focus and we try to do our best to win this game again. Robin, a tough game in Istanbul. What does the team need to do to overcome the result? Um, everything better than we did last game. Um, yeah, I think we have nothing to lose. We are already, we are behind, so we only we only like we have to give everything and just like go. Uh, they played an amazing uh, match, match last match. Um, amazing volleyball. We we didn't um, we didn't do the same. And I think tonight in our house with our in front of our fans, like we have to show that we also like we can overtop that. Um, and I think that's the only way to to change the whole uh, setup. So um, yeah, we're excited. Well, there you go. Some words from a couple of the middle blockers of each team. Christina Kuchkova speaking about that performance. Well, it was a big one for Fenerbahce. There is no getting around that. I like the words of Robin DeCoy there saying, well, it's now or never, right? Just we do everything better and they know how to. This team has come back and they are a big performing team. Fenerbahce last week kept the Italians under 20 points in all three sets. It was 25-19, 25-17, and 25-19 again. And in fact, they were trailing only once the entire match. That was at 0-1 in the second set. And that's actually the first time ever that Fenerbahce have managed to beat Conegliano as the Italians have actually won. They won the seven previous encounters six times in Champions League and once in the Club World Champs just two years ago. And after taking the title in 2021, Corneliano finished with a silver medal in Champions League last season. But right behind them were Fenerbahce with that bronze. So we knew going into the first leg of this competition between these two teams that it would be an absolutely wild matchup. But I just don't think anyone could have predicted what we saw in that first leg. Fenerbahce came out firing on all cylinders. They ran an extremely well-balanced and aggressive offense. They had three players with impressive scoring stats, they had Arina Berotseva with 19 points, Melissa Vargas on the opposite with 17, and Anna menendez Oliveira put up 16 points, and she was named the MVP for the match. Now the team had five blocks, including two from Eda Erdem Dundar on the left of your screen there, the captain of this Fenerbahce side. They also had eight aces, four of them coming from that 19-year-old Russian Berotseva. And despite very little offense through the middle, they only had one kill. That was from Christina Vuchkova, who you heard from earlier. The Italians were just way too late to adjust their block and to slow down those wing attackers. So, as you see on your screen, we are in the second leg of the quarterfinal of this Champions League matchup. 
it's going to be between Corneliano and Istanbul. For Corneliano, things just continue to go from bad to worse. The stats kind of reflect that as of last week. Isabel Hack was their top scorer for the Italians. She had only 10 points, and she was the only player to score in double digits. And that's just a far cry from her typical performances. Usually, she's up there in the 20s. And we'll have a look at what's happened so far. This is the second leg of the quarterfinals. Istanbul, Dakibank beating Milan. Stuttgart going down to Novara. And Izadjabashi just a few hours ago taking down Sheshov of Poland. So those are the three teams that will be going forward. The Turkish reigning champions of Akikbank, the Italians, the champions of 2019 Novara and 2015 Izadjabashi champions. And now it is up to these two teams to let us know who is going to be that fourth place in the semifinals. Well, as you see from the fans and those green seats, we are in the Palo Verde. Verde meaning green. We have the green gym of Corneliano. We're going to see a lot of fans piling in today. I have absolutely no doubt. The last time they played, as mentioned, the top scorer was Hack. The next closest in that match was the American Kelsey Robinson Cook. She had six points. But one of the best performers was arguably Asha Volos, the setter, the Polish setter. She was the only player to register a block, a single team block in the whole match, just one. The only player to get a point in block, and also she put up one of the two total aces. Corneliano scored actually only 55 points in that first leg on March 16th, and that's the fewest points for them in any Champions League match that's tied only in their match against Vakifang in the 2017 final, which they lost 3-0. So, safe to say, it was a bad day at the office for the Italian powerhouse, which looked like a completely different team than we're used to seeing over the past few years. I mean, definitely 23 wins in a row should tell you something, but Fenerbahce, the ones to break it. Nevertheless, if any team knows how to rally back from a top loss, it is this team, Corneliano, so expect to see a much better performance in front of their home crowd tonight. They must win 3-0 or 3-1 to force a golden set decider. If Benabachi win just two sets, then they will advance to the semifinals and they will join those three teams that you saw earlier on your screen. Dakibank, Novara, and Izadabashi in the final four. Interestingly, Corneliano have only lost two successive Champions League matches once. Just once before. That was a 2-3 loss against Dinamo Kazan and then followed successively by Vakbank in that 2017-2018 playoff and semi-finals respectively. Now the Italians have reached the Champions League semi-finals, the final four, in every single season since 2017. The only exception being that 2019-2020 season, which was cancelled due to COVID. Fenerbahce on the other side, they're hoping to reach the Champions League final for a third time after 2010 when they lost to Bergamo and 2012 when they won against Khan from France. Last season, Fenerbahce made it to the semifinals of the Champions League, but they were eliminated after a golden set against fellow Istanbul-based side back by. Now, Isabel Hack is Corneliano's top scorer for this season's Champions League. She's got 20, excuse me, 96 points. Between 2019 and 2022, however, Hack played for Istanbul that back at bank team and she was the overall Champions League top scorer in each of the past three seasons when she put up 170 points then she put up 236 points and 214 points respectively on the other side of the net for Fenerbahce Arina Fedorovceva she's their team's top scorer in this season's Champions League 132 points for her last season she finished fourth in the scoring ranking with 160 and she currently leads all the players with 22 aces in this Champions League campaign. But both teams have some famous faces to look out for. On the Italian side, of course, their well-known Polish setter. We mentioned her earlier. She's regarded as one of the best in the world. Former teammate of mine as well, Asha Volos, highly skilled in her role as captain of the team. There's Arina Fedorovceva on your screen. There's Kelsey Robinson-Cook, current Olympic bragging rights she has after she helped Team USA to a gold medal in the Tokyo Olympics recently. 
And of course, the 23 year old Isabel Hack for, for, excuse me, for Conigliano. She came over from Back at Bank last season. She was filling the shoes of Paula Gonu after her departure. Things were going well up until last week as Conigliano, here's a look at their, well, their entire lineup, their entire roster. But Conigliano actually secured the Italian Super Cup and the Club World Champs earlier this season with these players that you see on your screen right here. Lots of star power to work with. Well, for Fenerbahce on the other side of the net, one of the best known middles in the world, 35-year-old Ada Ertem Dundar. She is the captain. She's been with the squad since 2008. She continues to be one of the best at the net. She was the best blocker of the Turkish Super Cup earlier this year. She was pretty quiet, actually, in the last match. She put took an offensive backseat to the power hitters on the wings, but nevertheless, she provides that experienced role. She guides the ship, calms the nerves. Stark contrast of one of the superstars in the game, that 19-year-old, Arina Fedorovceva. Well, Melissa Teresa Vargas as well, a big scoring weapon last time out. Definitely someone you're gonna wanna look out for. and let's respect the CEO anthem. Well, the first time these two teams met was in 2018 in the group stage. Conigliano were pushed to five sets, but they came out on top. Conigliano, no stranger to Turkish teams. Each of the past two seasons, they played in Champions League final against an opposition from Istanbul. They won 3-2 in 2021, 3-1 in 22, both times against Vakitbank. They are still far and away the best Italian team in the domestic league. They've dropped only one match so far out of 23 that they've played. Took out a little revenge last week against Scandici, winning 3-1. But they know how important this match is tonight. Potentially the most important match of Corneliano season so far. It is going to be an all-out battle, I have no doubt. So much on the table. Corneliano must win 3-1 or 3-2 if they want to force a golden set. If Fenerbahce win two sets, all they need are two sets, then it is done and dusted. And they will be moving on. The referees for this matchup, Ricardo Ferreira of Portugal and Alexander Petrovic of Serbia. It looks like it is just about time for us to meet the starting sixes. Let's have a look if there are any changes from last time. I have no doubt that Fenerbahce will be going with their big guns again. Well, here we go, number 10. Fedor Tseva is the starting side hitter. And Christina Souza in the other outside spot. Christina Huchkova. Get that middle blocking nod. Number 44, Melissa Vargas in the opposite spot. Oh, Macris, the 34-year-old Brazilian setter as well. Who have I missed here? And the Anthem Bunda, of course, through the middle and Gizem on the libero jersey. That's your starting lineup. Those are your starting sevens, really. For this Fenerbahce squad, pretty much exactly what we saw last time. And Conigliano starting hot with Robin de Cruyff of the Netherlands. Asher Volos, of course, will be setting. Monica Dejanato in the libero jersey. Chelsea Robinson Cook on the outside. She'll be right across from Captain Plummer, the two Americans. And it looks like Sarah Farr is getting the second spot through the middle. That's one change we can see. 
Pak on the opposite. No surprise there. So there you go. Starting lineups are out. Cards have been drawn. Coach Daniele Santarelli. He was actually a player until 2020. He's been coaching in Conegliano since 2017. Now the head coach of Serbia since 2022. Across the net from him. The former head coach of Serbia from 2002 to 2021 is Zoran Tercic. He's been coaching with Fenerbahce since 2018. Well, lots of hugs, lots of conversations, lots of last minute preparation. Both these teams will have watched hours, and I mean hours, of video since this last meeting. Especially Conegliano, they will have dissected every single moment of that last matchup. They will have all the weapons at their disposal. Hopefully, play this match today. It's underway. Benabachi on the left in the yellow, serving to Conigliano on the right. For this Champions League quarterfinal matchup, it's do or die for Conigliano. And immediately, it is Asha Volosh, one of the best in the game, uses her weapon before anyone has even a clue. Nice start for Conigliano. Good serve coming back. And the swing, oh, not able to handle it though. And that first ball going outside to Fedotseva. I, I feel as though that might be a statement play by Fenerbahce. Last time the, the middles got running earlier, but as you as we talked about, the middles didn't really get a lot of ball in that last match for Fenerbahce. So expect a lot of action out of this lady right here. The pipe goes, it's picked up, nicely done. And another swing. Petrovceva from the out of system ball. That tip almost falling, but Macri is so well experienced. Petrovceva with the vision to see that tiny little slice of light between the blockers. Still 19 years old, incredibly. Gets a tough serve, but that's kept alive. Chance to come back, it's free for Fenerbahce to the outside, off the hands. Conigliano out of system with a bump set to Plummer, she's blocked. Another chance, goes into the net, into the block, and again recycled. Conigliano already playing a little bit smarter than last time, but it doesn't matter despite the patience. Fenerbahce has the same, and they will go on and on again and again. Great defense on the outside. Christina off the hands. She'll take the point. Three one. Oh, tough serve. A serve. Fedorov Seva did not come to mess around. Already two points in the attack. Follow it up with an ace. She had four aces last time around. Well, no surprise there. Best server of Champions League 2022 and of the Olympics 2021. Has she done it again? No way! No way! Two aces in a row. Incredible start for this lady. Fedorovseva goes for another one. Three aces in a row. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, Santarelli has no choice but to call a timeout. The onslaught of aggression continues. Fedorzeva, still only 19 years of age. She's been with Fenerbahce since 2021. 
but really coming into her own as a player and is such a huge weapon for this squad. Could be the reason this team gets a gold in Champions League if they do, because now she has just put four aces in a row. That is absolutely unheard of. A, at this level, and B, against Conigliano. That does not happen. Go for it again. Let's see it. Oh, not that time, though. Well handled. Great hustle, but again, Fenerbahce get the point. They just have so many weapons. I have not seen a team like this in many, many years. They are ripping Conigliano apart at the moment. They have dialed in their tactics. Going for another ace is Fedorovceva. She's handled. De Cruyff with a swing. Well, from behind, that's picked up. Off the hands. Great set behind from Volosh, but the blockers. Relentless for Fenerbahce. Well, it's 9-1, and a second timeout has to be called. Not a shot on cross. I want to see more shot on the line. You're attacking one, because until now, it has not always in six. Eh? You're attacking six, you're attacking six, and you're attacking six. Eh? Okay. Conigliano feeling a little taste of their own medicine. This is how they usually play against other teams, and that's the feeling that other teams have, that there's just no way to win, no way out of it. But with a 9-1 start this time, it's Fenerbahce leading the charge. He is this 19-year-old Arina Fedorovceva. Absolute phenomenon. Four aces. There you go. Six of the nine points belong to her. Well, finally we realize she is indeed human. We'll allow her one error, but that's an incredible ratio. Four aces to one error. Just letting Conigliano breathe just a little bit. What can they do to get back in this? That's not going to help. Fenerbahce back on the offense. Christina Uchkova, 31-year-old middle blocker of Bulgaria. Played earlier this season in China. She sends a freebie right back. Yeah, not used to being under this much pressure, but certainly a team that can handle it. Certainly a team fight their way back into it. All behind Savargas, off the hands, straight to the floor. And that's the trouble with this Fenerbahce side. As soon as you take your eyes off of one area of the court, have a look here. Sarah Farm moving a little bit with the middle to go outside, and then she's a tiny bit late there in the back, and that is one of the best offensive weapons they have. Ball through the middle, there's one for Corneliano, and finally, Pala Verde can cheer just a little bit. Erdem, no doubt, one of the best blockers in the game, but she was heading a little bit towards the outside again. She will have read the notes, not a lot of middle blocker action on either side in the offense in the last match. There's a good one. There's one for Corneliano. That's been a tough serve from Plummer. She's off the net. Macris bringing the ball a little bit inside far. Read that so well. Gets out there super early. And she can press her arms and take away that whole angle. And another one. And another one, Sarah Farr, three points in a row for her. Got an attack, a block, and then an overpass. Of course, you got to credit the server there, Plummer, forcing it. But 
Barr was on the ball. Didn't see a lot of action in the last game, but the 21 year old huge part of this Mariano side. The outside, Robinson Cook, she's dug. Oh, a cheeky little one falls from Anna Christina. from Robinson Cook, but she's finding that zone six. Easy dig, and Anna Christina catching Mariano off guard, 12 to six. Anna Christina, also one of the younger players, only 18 years old, Brazilian. Best opposite in the South American champs, though. 21. Marina Lubian in to serve. 22 year old Italian middle blocker playing Scandici last season. Helped Conigliano in that win last week. Earlier this week, I should say, in the domestic league. It's her former team. Tough one coming back. Hack. We haven't seen her yet in this match. But there it is. Finally gets a good one away. She's a huge, hugely important factor on this team. We need to get her firing early. Get her responding. Serves the cross. Down the line comes Vargas. The tsunami of offense continues. Such a quick whip of an arm. Please, again, taken well. Cordigliano back to Hack. Can she do it? She's dug. Patrice will send that high outside, and the block is ready for it. Robin DeCroy finally gets a bit of joy in the blocking action. Oh, but it gets Fenerbahce out of this. You can see DeCroy there pointing to the right side. She knows where she wants to go. Gets there, closes it off, Fedorovseva. Not much of an angle. Vargas with an uncharacteristic error. Just wide trying to avoid that block. Eyeballs dug. Chance from the pipe. Hawk comes firing in. Is it out? Oh! Oh, that's potentially worth a challenge. Let's have another look at that. There's the dig. Hawk firing in off. Nope, that's out. Good watch by Kelsey Robinson Cook. She watched it all the way. And when I say watch, I mean with her feet. She got her body on the line, making sure she knew where that ball was going. I'm out with cold, I think. Fenerbahce have only a three-point lead now compared to that big stretch they had there at the beginning. And Corigliano keep chipping away. Yes, they can. Plummer off the hands and out. Clever attack. 
There's the pickup off the slow down block. They're aiming for Volosh, but she does a good job to keep it within playable situation. And Vargas, putting that ball right back down. Was it in, was it out? It's called out. It looks as though we might be having a challenge. This could be a really important point. I hear the, I hear the celebration already. Oh my goodness, couldn't be any closer. Moneliano, how, how on earth have they crept back in? Doesn't matter, it's back to within two. That is what this team, you cannot ever count them out. Top swing, almost brought back in, but not. cross to work with there, a lot of space. She's back to serve. Oh, and the error, that's huge for Conigliano. A huge miss after getting four aces in a row last time she was up at the line, and that's the game of, well, of chess, a little bit cat and mouse that you want to play. Just get their top servers off the line as soon as possible. That's a good step in the right direction, Squartini. Federica on the middle blocker in the serve. Right to be them. There's Vargas cross court right on to Hawk. Fernando, I should say Fenerbahce, really targeting who they want in defense. You can see they're using a lot of this cross court swing, so they're forcing Hack to play, or they're going cross and forcing Plummer to play. They've really got their targets nailed in there. They're going off the hands of Asha Volov. She's the smaller setter. Just really got their playbook intact. Well, that one off DeGenato. Mariano's Libero, normally extremely talented. Defensive actions. Fenerbahce push ahead 17-13. On to Robinson Cook. Good save by Volosh. That's the way. That is why she is regarded as one of the best, if not the best, setters in the world. That ball going tight. She couldn't do anything but just pop it to her middle and she does so gets two blockers jumping twice finds the floor 17-14 cross court's dug setters out Dijonato with the set to hack just wide you see the idea there she's going long she's going deep not trying to go straight into the bottom of that block Especially when it's a bump set, the blocker is really perfectly lined up. So all she needed was a little touch off the fingertips. This time doesn't get it. 14. I'll make that 15, 18. Service errors for Cornelio, five for Fenerbahce. Well, doesn't matter though, they've got big swings like that out of Vargas. Vargas, last time they played, she had 17 points. 17 attacks, well, 15 of those points came from her attack. She's a huge outlet there on the right, even when things aren't perfectly in system. Always ready to swing. 15-15. Comes Hack. This time she gets the fingertips. That is what she was looking for last time. If you knew the volleyball, it's not always about swinging as hard as you can straight to the floor. You're looking for fingers off the block and that tiny little touch there and out of bounds. She gets it off Pedro Teva right there on the left hand. Left fingers. Another swing. It is 16-19, just three points in it in this first set. Off the 
tape. Reese goes slide to Adam. She's picked up. I see Robinson Cook with a roll, but that's no good. And again, no surprise, Fedorovseva, the one to put it away. It's a smart roll there down the line, getting Anna Christina on the floor. Then the blockers can focus on one player in the front, but they're still floating just that little bit. Fedorovseva coming inside the Kreutz block. Oh, nice, nice response. Perfect reception from Cook. And that fast flick back from Molaj to Pot gets it exactly what she wants, and that's some speed with the height. Still back to three point differential. Up in the middle. Reese using Vargas off the hands. That's for Cook. She recycles. One more time for Hack. Can she do it? Yes, she does. Finds Anna Cristina, and I feel as though Conigliano now starting to be really conscious of where they want to attack as well. They want to force Anna Cristina to do the defensive actions. They're trying to keep it away from Gizem. She hasn't had a lot of opportunity to dig really at all. So it's 18 20 timeout, Fenerbahce. We'll have a look at the score line. It's been back and forth, point for point, the last few points. And that's a huge, no matter how this set goes, this is a huge comeback for Conigliano. They were down. They were down an incredible differential. They were down about... 3-11. One to nine is how this set sat. Set. How this set started was one point serving nine. Three. Brazilian with some tough action from the service line. That's Doug. He's then getting a good part of that this time. There's the tip. Robinson Cook on that one. Hack with the tip of her own, and it lands. Nobody in sight. Interesting defensive lineup there from Fenerbahce. With them creeping in, looking for that cross court. And again, that's where she's baited her defensive players. She's been going cross, cross, targeting that zone six. Gives them trying to creep over and help a little bit, but then leaving that tip wide open. Well, the first swing through the middle, the first point of the middle for Fenerbahce. They haven't been active in that role, and that's why it's successful. Uchkova was pretty much alone there. Lot space. So, 22, 19, Now with three errors in the serve after four aces in a row is all risk reward, all or nothing. It's better added to Croy. But soft serve, it's not only ice cream. Go back to the end line, especially against this team. Don't put pressure on them. They're going to do exactly that. They have three offensive weapons coming at you in the front court. They also have Fedorovseva in the pipe. There is just not much the block can do to slow that down if you don't put the team under pressure. Well, Anna Lazareva, the 26-year-old Russian opposite. 2021 only comes in for the serve. One off the tape, well read by Sarah Farr. Oh, that's good. That is very good. Well, 
spread it too far. For being awake on that, that's always going to be the middle's responsibility. Sometimes it falls. This time it does not. She gets her team an opportunity to swing. Hawk with another point on the board. Down through the middle. Good dig. Hawk again off the hands. That slowed down. Can Plummer put it away? Cross. Yes, she can. Corneliano are here to fight. And look at the crowd. Much more action on Corneliano's side. Much more clever actions, I should say. Smart. Getting the block. Going again. It doesn't take long. And Christina putting Fenerbahce right back on track. Vargas for set point. Fenerbahce 24 22. Both still in play. Plummer saves the day. that ball up for Volosh and she's got two blockers in front of her still finds a way off the hands of Erdem so set point Fenerbahce a lot of pressure bump set to the outside slow down but not enough and Fenerbahce with an anticlimactic finish they do it set number one The bump set and goes off the hands. But the reactions for Colignano just that little bit too slow. What a comeback though. 25 to 23 to put themselves back in a position to win the set. That's huge. They were down nine to one in that first set. Well, there's a look at the stats from the first set. Four aces for Fenerbahce, and you know, you already know, those are all from Arina Fedorotseva, the 19-year-old Russian outside hitter. Four in a row she got there. I don't think I've ever seen that in any women's volleyball match, let alone in a Champions League quarterfinal. Well, it was a rocky start there for Conegliano, but they got themselves well and truly back into that match. Top scorer for Conegliano was Isabel Hack. So far, she's got seven points, all of them from attack. Right behind her, Sarah Farr doing her bit. So that three-point run for her where she got an attack, a block, and then an overpass kill. On the other side of the net, Fedorotseva for Fenerbahce. The young gun with eight points so far, four blocks and four aces. Next to her is Ana Cristina of Brazil with seven points, all of them from attack. Of course, Melissa Vargas there in the opposite as well. Always a threat. She's got four points so far. The only other player to score a point, Cristina Vuchkova. One attack through the middle, that one point through the middle.
No, coming down, and we'll certainly be looking at those stats, and they'll be reading and maybe just giving a little bit more up in the middle and focusing heavily on those wing spikers. Again, Fenerbahce with so many weapons. It's just a matter of statistics at this point. You, you know that they can score from anywhere, but where are they getting the most points? Set number two is underway. Emiliano on the left in the blue. Serving Fenerbahce in the yellow. Set number two of this quarterfinal goes the way of Conigliano to start, but that's how it started last time as well. Tough serve, an overpass. Cook is on it. Now, if they can avoid a nine-point run by Conigliano or by Fenerbahce here now, then they'll already be one step in a better direction, and they've done a good thing. They've got an ace. That is exactly what Conigliano need. Hack going, firing from the end line. Really sharp to the cross. Will she do it again? Same spot, yes, a little bit. That's for Fedorov Seva, she keeps that up. Down the line, nicely done. Here comes to Kreuf. Didn't have a lot of action in the last play, but she gets off the net so fast is available for her setter, and she's got that wide space down the line. Keeps the point on the side of Conigliano. That's a good start for them. Half swing, great dig. Dejanato's under it, pipe coming. Oh, just out. Answer by Plummer. I don't know that there was much of a block in front of her. Look at this again, there's that great dig. Molosh pushing that just that little bit past the pipe. One blocker, but no, no good. Off the hands from Decroix. Fedorovceva with a snap. One high behind to Cook, she rolls deep, setters out. Molosh back in it. Hawk has a go, does she get a touch? Well, it looks like the point's been given to Fenerbahce, but I thought I saw Michkova put her hand up and say she got a touch there. No, no, no touch. Wide. 2-3. Corey takes it. Back to Hack, and another little dribbler is going to fall. She did that one in the last set, and it was perfect. A taste of it in the success, and she'll get another one. Everyone's staying so deep, Fatigue is in there has already crept almost towards the center of the court. There's just no chance she can get there to that. Way too fast. Middle, that's Doug. Shots for Plummer, off hands. Gets another one for Corneliano. Great dig by Hack to begin, because as we talked about, Corneliano probably favoring a little bit less the block through the middle, so half, the defense just has to be ready to react. That's for Plummer again. She goes off hands. And deep. And right back. That's going to count as a block. Vargas with a one on one just has to be high. Pushes it into that corner. Well, it's 3 5. Fenerbahce down. They were only down for one point last time they played. That was that 1 0 in the start of the second set. They're on the comeback, though. Tough block from Anna Christina. The one on one against the middle. Have a look at that. Dives into the line. Troy catching that ball just a little bit behind her. Better of Seva on the line. That's not what Conigliano wants. She's taking a little bit of heat off her serve, though. Doesn't matter. It still works. A couple of errors in a row from Plummer in the attack. 
what she's looking for there. She's wanting to go that deep, deep line in the middle. So there's a bit of a hole between the blocks, so she's going to that end line. 5-5. Five, Seva five. going for Plummer. Doesn't work, but they do get a free ball back. Out to Anna Christina. And we can't dig that. It goes into the stadium. Like Hawk was just one arm's length away from it. Almost hit her. But better to be safe than sorry. They need her in this match, so no point in her running into the barriers. Seva hasn't been acing, but she has been putting points on the board now. 6-5. And about she back to the lead. Good pick up by Rolosh. Dribbling off the net. Plummer is to tip. The read by Macris. Here comes Vargas. She's blocked. Back over. Reginato setting to Hawk with the swing deep and just misses the fingertips again. A couple times in a row, Conigliano. You see what they're trying to do. They don't want to go into the bottom of that big block. It is because it's a bump set. The blockers of Fenerbahce know where it's going. Oh, we've got a substitution on our hands. Alexa Gray, Canadian, formerly of Busto, 28 years old, comes in maybe to stabilize just a little bit the reception, but instead, it's an ace. Fedorotseva. Welcoming Gray to the court. Oh my goodness. Do you see the spin on that ball? It's going forward and then it just tails away at the end. That is an elite serve. Absolutely perfect. I don't think I've ever seen her serve from that angle and you can you could just really see exactly what she's putting on the ball. So, it, well, Carmiano has to challenge it, but I think they're gonna see couple of seconds that that was one of the best serves of all day not all Champions League am I exaggerating I don't know you tell me but that was very good come on come on how is this 19 year old so good whatever she's had for breakfast I want some of that The Turkish Super Cup goes for it again. This time, change of direction. Finds Cook. The block kept alive. Free ball for Corneliano. What are they going to do with it? Back to Hack. She tips and again finds the floor. She's been oh, having a lot of success with that. Here's the free ball. Look again. Backcourt of backcourt attack was called there at the very last minute. You could see the timeout's been called. Conigliano. Robin Detroit about what he wants her to run, what areas of the net. So if that ball is off and then he's saying, run that slide, open up the net, run behind. So Ashavolich has a lot of options, but it's time to the net, stay in front, that way you can open up behind. Let's see, a little bit of whispering after that between Volosh and Santorelli, because we don't want to give it all away. Or at least they don't want to give it all away. Speaking of giving it all away, Federov Seva giving absolutely nothing up for free. Out of the timeout, does exactly what she continues to do with that little bit of side spin. I mean, have a look at how it's tailing away. Incredible. Goes for it again. Substitution, Gennady is in. Picks that up nicely. She was targeted, handled it. But a huge block on the right side. 
Fenerbahce and Vargas. Ready and waiting for Alexa Gray. That ball dying just ever so slightly inside. Looks like we have another timeout on our hands. If the ball is not good, don't attack on the blocker. Okay, set the blocker, counter-attack and we can. Okay, because the middle never arrive. In counter-attack we can do points, step by step. But now we need, we need one side down. Come on, girls. Well, pretty classic advice there from Santorelli. And that's something we talk about a lot when we're watching these matches is players, you don't want to swing right into the block, especially in that situation. Gray didn't have the advantage. Ball was dying inside. It was a big block in front of her. He's saying look for the block, look for opportunities to tip, to roll, to push off the hands and out. Those long swings that maybe clip the fingernails. That's what he wants from his players. But it's 11-5. Big ass. Big ball in from Cook. Argus. Oh, Christina, Anna Christina with a heavy arm. Starts with that big dig in the backcourt. That's what's really impressive as well by about Fedorceva. She's not a one-trick pony. She's got a lot of attack, but also that big, you know, defense in the backcourt as well. She's kind of just really well-rounded. Another ace serve. How many ace serves have we seen so far from Fedorovceva? Four in the first set, at least three in the second. She is relentless. Goes for it again. Who's she going to target? Well, been a pattern, hasn't it? With ace, 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 and then a couple of errors. So if Conaniano's lucky, she'll miss her serve. First time she goes back to the line next time. Allow them to get back in, but what a serving run. It was five. I would say if I started serving. They were down. Pick up on the outside. Chance to swing. Is that long? Yes, it is. Pagliano take the point. Well, it looks like we might have a video check from that angle. It looked pretty clear that that was out. A oh, block touch, that's what we're after. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. Well, not sure that Fenerbahce necessarily need this point. If I were the coach, I'd maybe let that one slide. And use it if Conigliano do creep back in. But after a 5-4, oh, excuse me, from four points to 14 points, a 10 point service run from Pedro Seva. They're now in a very healthy position. Vargas on the backside. Keeps the points ticking over. Fenerbahce looking very good for this second set. Through the arms of Sarafar. That's a tough shot. Serving seven. Conigliano must respond now. They cannot lose two sets or it's going to be over. Strong ball up, a little out of system there, but Hawk then able to come firing in on the outside and targeting that smaller blocker. My piece is in front of her. Hawk got seven points in the first set. And 
relying on her here in the second as well. Anna Christina, 16 to 8. She's got 10 points so far. Goes off the net. Good pick up again by Farr. Robinson Cook keeps it in play. Good pick up by Farr. Doing good work to see that clip off the net. Ruby on aim to serve. gold medal winning, winning team in 2022 for Italy. It was aggressive to Fedorotseva, but it's handled and sent right back their way. That's a tough serve as well, right on to the Russian. But that ball inside, Macris Putting a little tighter inside, maybe, than Vargas was ready for, but still finds a way past De Croix. The Fenerbahce train continues on the tracks. Runner with the reception, Hawk with the hit. Is it too little, too late now for this Italian side? Good flick back, and Hawk finding that space between the blockers. You see that, how high she's hitting. Goes for it in the serve as well. Well, at this point, you have to be aggressive if you're Conigliano. You cannot just let Venerbahce have easy serves, and they'll keep chipping away towards the end line, but at the same time, Three balls, serves out. Really, really painful at this stage in the match. Hawk rolls to Macris. Vargas has a go off hands. Good pick up, but not enough in the backcourt. Glover running it down. Incredible action there, and Cook, one of the better blockers out there on the team, but it just goes off the very top of her fingers. Nothing you can do to slow that down. That's for Hack again. She is into the block of Fedorovceva. A one-on-one -on -one between the youngsters. Let's see, Vuchkova has already committed to the right side. She's going to cover two players over there, and leaving the Russian all alone. Tight through the middle. Oh, good pick up, Volosh. Here comes the free ball. Chance on the outside. And it goes wide off the pokey. Well, this is the moment Conigliano must be hard as, well, whatever the hardest thing in the world is, hard as diamonds in there psychology in their mental game because they have everything well, to gain to lose whatever you want to say big block there that'll do nicely to get them in the right direction but they have their backs against the wall and Yano cannot lose this set or they are out of this Champions League run massive moment there for Plummer and we got a timeout Coach Zoran Tetic. He already has two Champions League bronze medals, also the World Champs gold from 2018, silver and bronze medal from the Olympics, so no stranger to High level teams. On the outside, Fedor Seva finding the wide open ocean in the backcourt. 
just does not miss. The height of her attack looks like she's going one direction, and you can see that, right? Cook is stepping into that gap between the blocks, thinking that's where she's going to hammer it hard, but instead puts a slice on it, still hitting super high. It goes right back the other direction. It's such an aggressive swing. Tough serve to follow it up. Nicely kept alive. Free ball coming for Fenerbahce. with absolutely no mercy. She does say sorry. She gives the old, puts up a little hand to say sorry, Hawk. Sportsman-like. But this Fenerbahce team is rampaging towards the end of this set. 21 to 13. Don't know the last time, well, except last week, I've seen Corneliano in this kind of a spot. And another one, another ace serve for Pedro Tseva. By my count, that's something like nine ace serves. Is there a pause button for Pedro Tseva or is she 100%? There you go, eight points, eight service points for this youngster here in this Champions League quarterfinals. What an impressive stat. Bocci continue. Chance to swing again. Good block by De Cruyff. And a little bit of back and forth with the net. An unlucky call goes the way of Fenerbahce. I'm not 100% sure what exactly happened. There's the pokey. Looks like she's been called over the net. An aggressive action by De Cruyff, but Less. Ball is back in the hand of the ace machine. Right there to Cook, she handles it. Off the hands, out of bounds, Plummer. Finally gets Fedorotseva off the line. She had a 10 point service run earlier on in the set, then again, just now, with a few aces in a row. under more pressure than they've felt probably in years. 3-14, serve must go in, it does. Nevertheless, Anna Christina does not care. She sees the block. They are really targeting that zone of the court as well. That's exactly where the smaller blocker Volos is. Tiny bit of space there between her and Far. And now, 24 to 14, Fenerbahce set point. Oh, well, that one's not gonna go. A bit anticlimactic, but nevertheless, they've got a few of them in the bag. Nine set points, match, well, not technically a match point, but if they win this set, they're going forward. 15, 24. Through the middle to finish it. What a statement to give that ball to Ada Erdem on effectively match point to get themselves into the semifinals when she hasn't had a single point all match. I am so impressed with everything Fenerbahce has been doing last week and this week. Certainly, with this kind of play, they must be a contender for a Champions League gold medal. And with that set, that second set, they have secured themselves a place in the final four. They will be joining Vakif Bank, Novara, and Izajabashi. There will be three Turkish teams and one Italian team in the final four this year. Well, that went very quickly, second set. Another four aces for Fenerbahce. If I'm not mistaken, all four of them again from Pedro Tseva.
semifinal, a comment uh, about the match so far? Oh, okay. Of course, then we are very, very happy. Not just uh, then we qualified for the uh, semifinal. The way how we qualified, it's really amazing. Then uh, we played five sets with the uh, Corneliano team. You know very well they are practically the best in the world, and we didn't lose not even one. We won all five. So congratulations to my girls, and uh, now we will play the rest of the game in some with some new players. Well, congratulations in order to Zoran, Zoran Tetsic. In the first set, we began very, very bad. 9-1, uh, it was very complicated for us. We tried, we put on the court uh, everything to try to, to recover the score. At the end, we spend uh, a lot of energy. For sure, we can play better, but versus this kind of uh, team is not simple. They have an uh, incredible spiker, incredible team. They deserve for sure this, uh, this important uh, quarterfinal. Now we try to continue for uh, the supporter, the incredible supporter, and uh, for us, because uh, we deserve uh, one victory in front of them. Thank you so much. Well, tough moment for Conigliano in front of their fans. As Fenerbahce will be headed on to the quarterfinals. Well, excuse me, the semifinals, the final four. This is the quarterfinals. But now that they are qualified, as you heard, probably likely to see a different lineup there on the side of Fenerbahce. But Conigliano will not be going on. They have been a staple in this Champions League for the last few years running. Last year they were silver medalists. The year before they were champions. But because of this lady right here, as well as many, many other weapons on the side of Fenerbahce, Piano have been sent packing. Well, incredible performance by Fenerbahce. You cannot take anything away from them. They fought with everything they had, and what a tough team, as Daniele Centrone said. They absolutely deserve to be in that final four after playing the way that they did. Five unanswered sets, three last week and two this, well, today, against one of the best teams in the world, which is Conigliano. But I'm looking at some of the stats here. Fedorotseva, yes, she had eight aces, but she was on the service line for 26 attempts. Now, to put a little bit of perspective on that, the next closest on her side was seven. That was Macris. And the most service attempts on Corneliano's side was Kelsey Robinson-Cook with 11. So she just put so much pressure from the service line. And then that's followed up with a really big and offensive block. Fenerbahce only had three stop blocks, but they were slowing down a lot of balls. They were digging almost everything, and you saw Hawk there having to resort to a couple of tips and rolls, but nothing seeming to fall for Conigliano. Well, Fedorokseva and Anna Christina tied up 13 points apiece for top scorers on their side. Hawk has 12 for Conigliano. Still a third set to play. And as coach Zoran Tercic just mentioned, we're probably going to see a few fresh faces. One of them, Buza Unal, number 18, 25 year old setter. They didn't spend about you last year as well, was the best setter in the Turkish league last season. VNL silver and bronze. Number three underway. First serve from Fenerbahce. Conigliano have a big swing. Chance on the right side. That's Doug. High ball for Hack, who goes aggressive at it. And the question now, 
how will Conigliano respond? There's a lot of pride on the table as well for this team, playing in front of their home crowd. Although they cannot advance, they're still going to want to put a good performance. That is so tough to do mentally, though, once you have lost your dream, to then continue playing with the same enthusiasm. Good pick up on the outside goes Cook. Does she get a touch? Yes, she does. So two points already in the direction of Corigliano. Well, Corigliano lose two. Champions League matches successively for the second time ever. The only other time this happened was a 2-3 loss against Kazan and then back to back in the 2018 playoffs and semifinals, respectively. There's a good tip. Picked up almost. Hawk's been having a lot of success with those tips on the right side. Today, I brought one of the fresh faces on court. The Russian Olympian, three time Russian Super League winner. Back to serve is Hack, the 23 year old opposite of Sweden. No good. The point directly back to Fenerbahce. Oh. In fact, that was an overpass, excuse me. So that serve was good. But the Croix caught sleeping just a little bit. Azir Kalaj, 27 year old middle. She'll serve. Deep to follow it up. On the outside, off the hands. Better but she's going to get it. Potentially a net touch there. From Meliha. 29 year old Turkish outside hitter. She's been with Benabachi since 2021. As it serves and a good rundown from the middle blocker. Off the hands, is it in? Oh, still alive. Chance thrown to Cook. Deploy looking for the deep corner. Got to appreciate though, still this effort from Benabachi. Not letting anything fall for free. Lazareva. He's played in Russia, South Korea, and France before this team. off the net. She goes to Hak. Hak powers it through from the pipe. Before this team, she played in Bakke Bank, Scandici Bellier. was the MVP of the Club World Champs in 2023 and 2022. The 31-year-old Dutch middle blocker gets an ace, or does she? No, she doesn't. An overpass, yes, but not handled. Now that is unfortunate for Conigliano. Two times in a row an overpass has come and they haven't have not handled it. Well, this Conigliano side not looking like themselves. Fast swing from Plummer into the block. 6-5. There's the short ball. Behind, and it's Vuchkova who stays in the game. Perhaps to get a little bit more action through the middle. As mentioned, when those big hitters are in the middles, we're not seeing a lot of ball on offense. So she's only got two points the whole match. 
She's still been an incredible part of this offense, of this defense even. The whole machine that is Venerace. Here comes Sarah Farr in the middle. Great ball in from Cook, allows Volosh to run that middle. And not a lot of middle action on Conignano's side either. So far, only four points leading up to this set. Well, there's a bit off the net, but they come back. Point's gonna stay with Conigliano. The ball there is in the net, and indeed, you can see it there from Buzu now. Up serve down the line though. Now, if you think the front, or well, I should say the starting six of Fenerbahce are tough, think about how deep their bench is right now. Their second string is a three time Russian winner, Russian League winner and Olympian. Anna Lazareva, who just fired that one down the line. Their second string is Olympians. America's finest Olympians. Cross court snap there. Went to the University of Nebraska. Got Olympic gold in 2021 and bronze in 2016. <laughs> Quite a few service errors on Emiliano's five in the last couple of sets. But Fenerbahce seemed to be racking up the aces. Finally, someone who is not Fedorceva getting an ace. Anna Cristina finding that gap between the two Americans, really targeting that channel. Power play from the Brazilian. Goes again, gets an overpass, easy read, free ball. Into the net. Not yet though, high ball, Cook. She is blocked. Asle Kalach in the middle with Buza. No, excuse me, Lazareva. I think most of that was Asli though. Former Galatasaray and Turkava Yulari player, best middle in the Turkish league in 2022. Right on Plummer. Hook goes for it again, finds a roll. Now the system is Fenerbahce, and it goes wide. That's a, a clever play here by Cook. She knows she doesn't have the advantage there. Two big blockers, so instead of a big swing into the bottom of it, she just pushes it over, gets them to respond, forcing Fenerbahce to do something. Oh, nice one. And the question now, do Conigliano have to adjust their defensive actions, their, their game plan now that new players are out on the court for Fenerbahce? One of them, Asli Kalaj, out of the VNL bronze medal team in 2021 with Turkey. Cook finds hands. 30-year-old American played in Japan last season. She's also part of that. She has been playing, she played in Fenerbahce before that. China, back to bank, two times in Conigliano before coming back. Best outside hitter at the Club World Champs 2023. <laughs> Relentless in her offense. Well, Anna Christina had 13 points in the last two sets. Having a look at that though, 
That, I was going to say, that ball looked perfectly placed on the line. She hasn't really missed much yet. No reason to think she would. Zero errors so far for Anna Christina. Lazareva joins the ace party. The ace club of Fenerbahce. Right on to Plummer again. Cross court. That one's coming back. Olash getting involved in the offense, but a free ball has to be sent. Is it in? Dub. From a free ball to a big block by Melia. Great effort there to keep that up. Here's the ball in, in the backcourt. That ball dying just a little bit for De Croix. But a big block nevertheless. Fenerbahce have the advantage. Just down to two points now, but they're looking very good. If this is their second string, that is, well, that's a team to reckon with. Daniel Lubian won the Challenge Cup. In 2022 with Scalici. No good. Here comes Melia. British national team player. Well, I like that from Volash, continuing to get her middle involved. Has it been? Much middle offense on either side, but every once in a while you gotta keep has to keep Wichkava on her toes. Great change of direction from far. Free ball for Conigliano. Handled well by Dejanato. Plummer puts the hammer down. Plummer before this set. Had only five points in the last two sets. Found herself a bit of a target in reception. Oh, there's an ace for Volosh again. One of only two aces last time out on court. Last time these two teams met. And now she joins Isabel Hack. With the only two to get an ace for Conigliano. A good one arm stab. Plummer's inside, moves her feet well. Here comes Lazareva. Did she find some hands? Nope. Point for Conigliano. Well, that's exactly what you want to see if you're fans of this Italian team, the fans in the stadium. Give some love to their team and some. Keep them going in the right direction. We got a timeout called, meanwhile. This is something is wrong. I don't care if you stay throughout here. You must be ready. Everybody, not just you. Okay? I, 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 come on. Out of his players and again I wonder what that conversation how it started but I think he's talking about you know it doesn't matter if you've been on the bench the entire match you have to be ready to go in when you're on that court doesn't want any mistakes out of his players that was a good response from Anna Christina off the hands it is tough though to go in when you're cold if you have been sitting on the bench when you're trying to Help your team, do something for your team, but your body's just not responding. 16-16. Another tough serve on Plummer. And it lands on Corneliano's side. How long until Daniele Cinderelli 
Tonelli reaches into his bench. Serving from Fenerbahce has been an absolute masterclass. Connor again, still out of system though. And that ball called just wide from Hawk, so she's forced inside by the set. Moves her feet well. See, the ball is basically where the blockers are, so she has to get a really sharp angle on that to get past them. But there's not much court, not much real estate left on that right side when doing so. Ball on Plummer again, no surprise there. She gets it back, there's a good tip, it's kept alive. Azareva into the block. Will she have a chance to go again? No outside to Anna Christina off hands. Bolosh to the middle, but the tip is no good. Sarah Farr with one of her first unforced errors of the match. Santorelli recognizing that they are out of system more often than not winning that second ball or that third ball I should say. Even if it has to be passed with a bump set with a platform, make sure you put it close to the net. There was a look at those the last few points in a row went to Conigliano and then Fenerbahce just creeping back in. Four points in a row for them now. They are absolutely relentless in their offense. 19-16. Far with another chance, she's dug. The roll through the middle. Lummer finding hands. And that is exactly what Santorelli was talking about. Put that ball tight. Give your attackers a chance to get offensive. Of course, that coming from Volos. He's always going to put a good, good ball up, but it's a little faster than they've been working with with Plummer. Of course, USA always liking to run that fast offense. It's something they run with Taj Karai in the gym. He's off that time. Lummer. Ooh, out of system. Cold. Out of rotation, excuse me. It's a hawk. Eagle eye from the second referee. Point back to Conigliano. 18 serving 19. Serve from Plummer. Azareva looks for the end. Doesn't nab it though. A couple of times in a row she's gone just long. And a really good high contact on it. But Marion Bosch coming in. Another very talented player, 35-year-old Turkish opposite. Played in Bakif Bank last season. She's been at Galatasaray, Nilfer Bursa, and played in Poland. She had a Champions League gold medal from 2022 with Bakif Bank last season. 19 all. Side China Christina puts it away, no surprise. Just doing what she's been doing all season, all match long. No more flash to her, just delivers every single time. The Brazilian Olympic silver medalist in 2021. Quick ball outside to Gray, who's come on the court. Gray was the best outside hitter in Italy in 2021, as well as the best in the North Take a Chance in 2019. It's her first point of the match. Oh, 
Good dig in the backcourt. Gennari's in the mix. Freebie back to way, the way of the Turkish side. Good dig. That's an unfortunate error. Unforced as two bodies on the floor to try and keep it alive. 17 points for Anna Cristina. One of them in a block. But most of them just offensive action. Aggressive. Getting a lot of opportunities to swing and putting the ball away. Tough serve as well. Off the hand. Setters out. Barrow to set the right side. Bosch goes through the middle. Here comes Hack with a hammer. Now that swing is what we're used to seeing out of Hack. Great pick up by Volosh. Hack was Corneliano's top scorer in this season's Champions League. Also, Overall Champions League top scorer in the past three seasons. Off the hands. Chance on the outside. It's 21 points apiece. Hawk gets a little bit of a finger underneath it. But the scoop, no good. Renovacci go and go and continue to keep going. Lubyan. Looked like she was going to turn around and take that off the block. Maybe a tiny miscommunication between the, the players. Anabachi, one point advantage. There goes Hawk again. That's what we're used to seeing out of her. Swinging high and swinging hard. I remember playing against Hawk in France. It was her first season playing pro, and you just saw this absolute beam pole hitting over and above everyone on the court. And since then, her career has just gone up and up and up. She's back in Italy now. A score of the Champions League, as mentioned, 2021, 2020. Club World Champs, two of them in her pocket. And she helped Conagliano to stay alive in this third and deciding set. Oh, they have a one-point advantage now. Good swing by Plummer into the block. Timeout called by Fenerbahce. I think they're going to want to close it out in three. Is Conagliano going to let them? Our reception was not. From the start of the game. Now, in the last 10 minutes, our session has the two semester running by bucket. Almost every time. Because they are maybe maximum on the level of the net. Also, our service is boost. Come on. Yes, come on, come on. Well, it's now or never if you're Conigliano. If they want to continue this match. A one-point advantage. Not for long, though. Tied it up again is Fenerbahce. Who's up feeding Uchkova in that wide-open channel there. And you can see there Lubyan diving into it as soon as she sees it. But still, Uchkova burning it, cutting it back the other angle. Paniliano bring up set point off an error in the serve. Can they finish this set? Push to a fourth for their fans. Or a little bit of pride as well. Rubiak. Okay, Meliha, she gets it back. The block is good. And Conigliano have held on by a thread. Well, they came here to win. They could not do it. But instead, at the very least, a little bit of joy for their fans as we are going to a fourth set here in the Palo Verde. 
25-23 was the first after coming back from 9-1 in that first set, if you remember. But Fenerbahce running away with it in the second, 25-15. Now just eking out the win in the third set. So a lot more volleyball. Maybe just a little, but at least some more volleyball will be to come. Two aces from Fenerbahce in that set. One for Conegliano. Two blocks. Again, only one for Conegliano. But the attacks, have a look at that. 16 to 8. So Conegliano really stepping it up, getting past the block, finding ways to score, which they just weren't doing against that starting string of Fenerbahce in the first two sets. Well, a little bit of pride recuperated for Conegliano after taking the third set. Despite being forced out of the Champions League for the first time in at least a couple of years. She has 17 points now. Top score for her side. And she was kept in for that third set while most of the other starters were taken out. Lazareva only three since she's been in. Azale only one. Maneha only two. So still a lot of points jumping through Anna Cristina. Isabel Hack, she's got 17 on her side. Uh, far and away the top score, Catherine Plummer with nine. Kelsey Robinson took just five. The ace team, the ace group, ten aces for Fenerbahce. Eight of them belong to Arina Fedorotseva, who's not in anymore. One for Anna Cristina and one for Lazareva. Only two on Conegliano's side. Molosh and one for Isabel Hack. Set number four underway. Mariano have the first serve. Good pick up. It's off the hand and it stays on the side of Conigliano. A bump set from Dejanato. So pretty much a similar lineup as we're seeing in that third set is that one court for Fedovacci. Quick one down the line. Ooh, but just wide. Haven't seen a lot of errors out of Anna Cristina. She's only been blocked once. It's her first unforced error according to the stats. One error in the serve, one time blocked. That's a great statistic though still. 65% efficiency in attack is Anna Christina goes for it again, and there it is. That's more like it. Top score of her team for a reason, despite being targeted by Wolosh. Responds with authority, 19-year-old. 
excuse me, 18 still. Younger than Fedorov Seva. Ball called out, tough to tell from this angle. Is it worth the challenge? Ooh, very, very close. But early, it's too early to take a challenge probably if you're Fenerbahce, so go. And a Christina from the left, from the right, from the pipe, doesn't matter. Put her anywhere on the court. She will score for you. Guza knows that. Wants to get her stats up. Easy peasy. Brazilian with a bright future ahead of her. Bright current, in fact. A lot of young, impressive stars on both these sides between Hawk, Fedorotseva, and Anna Cristina. There goes Cook with a nice one down the line. Or was it Plummer? I don't know. Neither. It was there far through the with the shot in the middle. Been impressive this match and a whole lot of ball that she's seen but when she has had it she's delivered was oh, now with the starting nod over Lazareva a couple of errors in a row for her though That 10 aces and 10 errors for Fenerbahce. Much better. Oh, that's a much better swing as well. And look at that good ball in from Plummer and using her middle two times in a row. Volash finally able to. So Corigliano have just been powering through with the serve, not enabling Asha Volash to use her middle as much as she'd like. Gets the chance. Well, the response is there from Fenerbahce as well. Hawk serve from Hawk, but perfectly handled. Anna Christina putting it on a platter for her setter. Which come up with the response. And Hawk blocked. Which come up. And Meliha. Let's have a look. Who was that? Looks like it was just one blocker. Uchkova indeed taking all the space. A one on one. Ball dying a little bit inside, but Hawk maybe could have used her trademark tip on that moment. Rubion with some heat. Rubion was the best spiker of the world champs under 20. up from Cook. Hawk, there's the tip, but they know it. Now they know it. Benerbachi reading her really well. Uchkova first with the big stop block. Second time, she's hanging in the air. Hawk, is she out of solution? Does she have any more in the tank? Still such a young player, but a bit of experience already. Of several years at the highest level. Back out, and the mistake on the outside. Clever from Volos to try to force that back outside. A little bit too tricky, even for her own team. Seven, seven. Again, plumber has been targeted the entire match long. have a challenge on our hands. Well, Plummer seems pretty convinced there might have been a touch on that. It looked like it was out from our angle. Can you guys tell me, what did you think you saw? Block touch or not? We'll have a chance to have a look. Here it is. So there are the blockers. No 
napłakać? Point remains with Fenerbahce, eight to seven. Again, it's Plummer doing all the work in the reception. Out of the net, nicely handled, off the block. Chance to slow it down for Conigliano. Back to Plummer again. Overpass, Lubian into a block, run down. Free ball over. Fenerbahce has the upper hand. Will they put it away? Yes, they will if they give it to Anna Cristina. No doubt. Even with two blockers up, Lubian just a tiny step late, but small. Stop Enough. direct block, please, girls. Stop direct block. The ball is close, the net cut. Attack strong as an out place. Because we continue to attack straight until the goal, eh? At some point you start to think Daniele Santarelli is sounding a little bit like a broken record. He must feel that a little bit, telling his players over and over, guys. Please stop swinging into the bottom of the block. Search for the hands, swing high and deep. The problem is, if you miss the block, and that's what we've been seeing, a lot of unforced errors, because the attackers have been swinging high and deep and missing the hands, and it's just been going out. So it's a really fine line between swinging high and deep and just missing all together. That one nicely done. Nubian. Good response by her down the line. Looking for a higher swing there, gets one hand, but Boz with the hand. Great defense in the back. Turns into a good opportunity for Conigliano. Into the hands of Anna Cristina. Still one point down, Rubian. Very strong in the back of the court. Anna Cristina, does she tip? Yes, she does. She has literally everything in her toolkit. The Brazilian can do absolutely no wrong. Big solid block there. Closing the line. Plummer waiting on the angle. She's been burned a couple of times. Sharp angle, so I mean, it's only natural that she's gonna be a couple of steps slow to pick up that tip. Interesting that she was on the tip considering the blockers were closing the line. It's a lot of responsibility for one player. Oh, still one point spread for Fenerbahce. Nine to ten. Close, but still nothing. Every time Anna Christina touches the ball, it is golden. And this is what's beautiful and awful about this Fenerbahce team, depending on what side of the net you're on, who you're supporting. Because we were talking all about Fedorotseva in the first couple of sets, how tough she is to defend against, how she's all over the court doing everything. But look, when she's not even on the court, there are threats like Anna Cristina. There was Vargas as well. I mean, there's so many players, and now even the second string, quote unquote, non-starters of this team, the bench team, are world level, world class, elite volleyball players. Just like that, as the college. Just a snap, that's all it took. Doesn't have to do much, doesn't have to be fast, flashy or fancy with it. Just gets high, gets up with the wrist, snaps it deep. And that's what Santorelli is speaking to his players about. Don't try and drag it down, don't bring the ball down. Just do that. Great response from Sarafar as well, through the middle. Good 
reactions from Corneliano. It's not about hitting the hardest. It's about hitting the smartest. In this case, the deepest. Back to the middle again. Good response in the block, but a free ball coming now. Corneliano. Outside to Cook, who puts some heat on it. And the speed from Bolosh as well. You can see it really well from that angle. She fires that to the outside. And we talked about that as well. The USA team loving that speed in their national team offense. Oh, great reactions. Overpass, and this time it is not gone asking. A couple times in that first set, the server did their job, got overpass, and went the way of Fenerbahce, but this time, handled. Timeout called. has been in the mix this set. Doing a great job well, taking some of the reception pressure off of Summer. Now, Fenerbahce don't really have that target they had earlier. But what they do have still, some aggressive attackers. as well with Turkey. Best receiver of the Turkish Super Cup in 2023. On to Gennady again. They don't have Plummer to target now. Hawk rolls it. Nice response from her. Roll shot. It's 14 13. Here comes Hawk. Goes down the line. She's finding Jansu set in the libero. Perfect ball in. Buza. Ball pushed to her middle. There's a little bit of space there. Hook. Bolosh, what a dig off Lubian. Here comes Anna Christina. Oh, blocked, but not straight down. Bolosh goes over. Yes, she does. That ball has to be attacked. Christina. See Daniele Santarelli with some questions on his side. Let's have another look at that. He's questioning whether that first touch was a block or was it a touch. Anna Christina doing exactly what she's been doing all match long. Lubian, dog, but it comes back. Oh, just out. Bit of luck there for Corneliano. Tanari scrambling in the wrong direction. As that ball comes back over. 15 points apiece. Liano can still force a fifth set if they take this fourth one. Out swing from Melia. No touch on the block. And that's the danger when you're going for these really high swings, which Fenerbahce have been doing a great job of it. But that's the danger. You can just go wild into the stands if you don't get the touch. Robinson Cook, the former Fenerbahce player herself. Knows these players well, knows this coach. Here comes Ha. 
back off hands. Oh, great stabbing dig. Inside, and it lands on the yellow side. The ladies in blue in their home gym in front of their home crowd continuing to put pressure on the Turkish side. Seventeen serving sixteen. Off serve from Lubyan. Ball outside to Anna Christina. Relentless. Absolutely relentless. And Anna Christina was already the top scorer coming into this set with seventeen points. Many she's got since then is it's a question that I have for the stat man. Good response. Great way to come back into the match. Plummer first ball. She's targeted again. She has been all match. She handled it really well. And Christina goes again. Oh, and an error. Well, we'll call that the commentator's curse just as I'm hyping her up. Well, for good reason. Finally runs an error. So, timeout called by Fenerbahce, 17-19. Especially on why? Every time, you say. And every time she makes this, she cannot attack. If she has very nice, normal ball on the block, she killed them. Corneliano have a two-point spread. And they hold on to it to the end of the match. Fenerbahce have been doing such a good job of continuing to lay pressure on this Italian side. And they do it again. And I think that's what Coach Zoran Tercic was speaking to his setter Buza about. That ball nice and high and wide for Anna Cristina. She will do the rest. And she continues to do it, point for point. Fenerbahce with 18, Conigliano with 19, quick through the middle, Sarah Farr gets one through. Good moment to use the middle. Oh, perfectly in, it's only one blocker after you saw Anna Christina take that baby step outside. Well, Asha's gonna see that all day long. 2018. The high ball behind into the block, recycled. Chance to go again, Anna Christina. She's dug. Hawk. Searching for the hands. Were they there? Points get been given to Conigliano, so a net block touch must have been called. Great one hand defense by Volosh. No arguments out of Fenerbahce. It's a three-point spread. Right on to Jansu. Nicely picked up. Over in two. Was not caught sleeping. Haven't seen a lot of action out of her, but she's on. With aggressive throw as well. It's what you like to see when that ball's coming over, especially if you know there's no blocker or attacker in front of you. Travolos in the backcourt, so just goes up there with the two-hand joust. Line shot for Kelsey Robinson Cook. Kelsey Robinson Cook already has a Champions League gold from 2018. Three times VNL gold winner as well. A nice free ball for Conigliano. Can they put in away another one? Yes, change of direction as well. 
First time down the line, second time towards zone six. Right there in the middle from the free ball as well. So blockers had to wait. So in the middle there, Asley had to hold with Lubion at one on one outside. Can they come back in this set? Or are we going to a fifth? Oh, great one. Good swing. Well, Fenerbahce, or I should say what Conigliano is doing a lot better right now. They're handling that first pass. So it's a tough serve. But Cook putting that right on the top of Tasha Wallace's head. And then you can see the blockers on the other side kind of scrambling to keep up with the speed of the play. Set point for Conigliano. Overpass. Chance fast on the left, and it's done. Robinson Cook from the Dejanato jump set. That is more like it for Conigliano. This is the speed and the style of offense that we're used to seeing out of this Italian powerhouse team. They would have liked this a little bit sooner, but Miliano with the last two sets, 25-20, 25-23, after being shut out, 25-23 and 25-15. Of course, if you're just joining us, Miliano will not be going to this, the finals for the Italians have actually reached the Champions League semifinals every season since 2016, the only exception being COVID year 2020, but they will not be going this year. Kanabachi is in. Here's how that last stat, that last set went in terms of stats, no aces. 18 attacks to 13. Well, we are headed to a fifth set. Technically, we call this a deciding set, but in this case, there's nothing to decide. All Fenerbahce needed were those first two sets, which they took. And since they won 3-0 on the first leg, there's nothing else that Conigliano can do put themselves into the semifinals. At some of the stats, Isabel Hack now with 20 points. Next closest is 10. That's Robinson Cook on her side. On the other side, Anna Christina, 25 points. An entire set for her. But there's still one more to play. This is Blom Fenerbahce with the first serve. Down the line goes Plummer. We haven't seen a lot of action from her behind the setter. She's often more comfortable in front. 
But again, Fenerbahce continue to target her. She got a lot of line open there, a lot of space to work with. Serve on to Janthu, Turkish Libera. Oh, good pickup as well. Credit there to Jansu, the 29-year-old libero who's been with Fenerbahce since 2020. There's a, that pickup right there, continuing the play, allowing her team to go further in the play in the moment. And Christina still on court. Can she break a record tonight? She's got 25 points already. Well, she won't get credit for that. That will be Asley's point, but that overpass, that is all due to that serve from Anna Cristina, forcing the action, forcing Conegliano, well, to do nothing. There's nothing really they could do there. She'll go back to serve again. Another one on Plummer. Boss creep. Deep court. Hook rolls it into the block. Shots for Bosch again. Off the blockers. And Christina eventually. Well, we haven't seen many errors out of her. She's only had two errors in the in the attack so far. Been blocked once. And one service error. So four errors. 25 points, that is not bad. That's not a bad stat. That time through the middle. Conagliano to respond. Hawk has the chance. No touch. So she's doing exactly what coach has asked out of her. That deep swing, but it's a little inside. You see she has to change direction as she's so far from the antenna. She's hitting so high that no blocker is even close to touching that. Plummer, even from the middle of the court, still a target. That's better from Hawk. Heavy snap, that fast shoulder that she has. Pick up Dejanato, keeping it in play for Conegliano from the backcourt goes Hack. She's dug, blocked, I should say. Chance for Anna Cristina, and again into the net. Two times in a row after a, a hugely impressive first four sets. Anna Cristina now two errors in a row. That's uncharacteristic for her. That set maybe just a little bit low for her liking. Well, the whistle, I think, was blown before the ball was down. That might be what's being questioned here. Whether or not there was a touch on the block and look from that angle like there was. So if that is the case, it'll be a replayed ball. No point will be awarded. Yep, that looked like it did touch indeed the block. So, if I'm not mistaken, we will replay this point. Still 4-3, Conigliano. And luck goes the way of Fenerbahce. Getting Bella Hawk off the line. She's already got one ace and two errors. Got three now. Oh! Close, but no good. Through the middle, that'll do nicely. Kuchkova. Sending it back with authority. Almost looked like they were going to get an ace dribbler off the net there. Nevertheless, made him earn it, but they'll take it. Very boss. 
Perfect ball in from Robinson Cook off the hands. Set from the libero. Does it tag the line? No, but it tags the block. Loving that set from Jansu as well. She steps in calm, composed. Pushes that high, wide, nice and tight. Giving Bosch a full approach to get just off the hands of Robinson Cook. set is only to 15, so as soon as one team reaches eight, we'll switch sides. It's a race to 15. And yeah. Finds Plummer. Plummer goes heavy cross court, though. Plummer only with 11 points coming into this set in the last four sets. Oh, there's the ace. There's the ace Conigliano have been looking for. Marina Lubian. With her first ace joins Molosh and Hack. There's the only two as of yet for Conigliano to get aces. Too much on the second time, so it's going to be a change of ends. A few unforced errors in the serve so far. Conigliano have given up 12 serves. Kanabachi have 12 errors in the serve as well, at least in the last four sets. My stats don't update set by set, or point by point, they only update set by set. Well, Fenerbahce with a two-point advantage. And they pull it out and win it in the fifth. Or will Conigliano have a tiny bit of redemption in front of their fans? Christina Vuchkova, former Conigliano player herself, goes up against her former team, but... Not enough pressure on it. There's the tip that's been working so well for Hawk. Roll off. Four points for her. No slowing down the Brazilian steamroller, though. Has free reign to score from all over the court. A little struggle there from the pipe, but once she's back in front court, well, it's a whole different ball game. Serving seven. of the USA. She played in Japan, Monza, went to Stanford, graduated in 2020. There's a nice one from Robinson Cook, finds the floor. Great dig from Dejanato. Stabs at it, gives her chance, gives her team an opportunity to play again, go again, and now they are tied up at 9-9. A six-point sprint from here on out. And Christina with a one-leg slide behind. And a great block through the middle. 
I continue to ask, is there anything Anna Christina cannot do? She's running a slide. An outside hitter running a slide behind the setter. Well, fantastic recruit. For Fenerbahce. The tip stays alive. Chance again, where's it going? Of course it's going to Anna Christina, and of course she's going to crush it. If I'm the blockers of Corneliano right now, I am going absolutely nowhere, but wherever she is, just get in front of her. She is the, well, she's not the only one, but she's certainly the most efficient scoring machine right now for Fenerbahce. Get two blockers on her every single time. Find her. Time out. Well, 11 to 9. The Brazilian soon to be superstar at the line. Oh, what an error. Will Lauer a few. Got her Lauer a couple. And the top scorer on the end of this set. She had already 25 points. One ace, one block. She's been racking them up at this point as well. Or this set, I should say. Roberta Carrero, Carraro, the four-year-old Italian setter. She's in to serve. Osh down the line. Is there a touch? No, there is not. Point back to Corneliano. And they'll tie it up. Look at this. Well, question is, are we looking for a block touch? Yes, we are. Oh, very close indeed. But you don't see the fingers of Kelsey Robinson Cook moving. So it stays on Conaliano's side. Potentially a wasted challenge. Still four points left to go. And this this fifth set just for pride at this point. Wash off the hands. Hack again, great set from Robinson Cook. Pulling that out of the net, keeping her body out of the net. That is way tougher than she made that look. Still putting up an absolute beauty. Hack dialing it in. There's another timeout on the court. Like this. Attack without any problem, they made the best ever. Come on. Asking for a little bit more out of his players. But Conigliano seems to be finding their rhythm here late in the fifth. Back to Ana Cristina. Well, that's one solution. She has been literally unstoppable this entire match. And you see three players are dialed in on her that time, but just a bit of a space between them all. She's able to find the right hand of Lubian. A lot of open court there. 12 to 12. Can Fenerbahce pull ahead? And Fenerbahce has the last laugh. Super Bowl in from Cook. And that one goes down the line from Hawk. And you see how it all just trickles on from that first contact. So with that tough serving that's coming from Fenerbahce. 
Amundsen Cook finds that over her shoulder, but just puts it right on Asha Volosh's head, and that's when things start to open up. That's when things start to become easy for this Conomiano side. Tough serve on Jansu, but through the middle. Ooh, Janati keeping it up. Here comes Cook off the hands, and that'll do. She's looking for that cross-court shot. She finds it. The blocker's just that tiny bit off the net. Aggressive serve to start it off as well. Great dig from Janati. That's got to be the reason. Miano able to go again. And look at the angle on that. Come out's called again. Well, it wasn't keeping track, but surely that's the last time out that Fenerbahce can call. It is 14 to 12, match point Conigliano. And they get it off the serve here. Hat goes for it. Not yet. And Christina responds. Yes, she does. No doubt about it. She is always on. Anywhere from the court, she is a threat. That's a tough serve as well. Trying to get her out of the offense. You see what Conigliano's trying to do. They put it on her, force her to receive. It's still match point. Well, Conigliano have done it. 15 to 13 in the fifth set. A little tiny sliver of redemption to go from two sets down to finishing it 15 to 13 in the fifth. They can be proud of that response. They can be happy that they didn't just roll over and lose 3-0. But if you're Fenerbahce, tonight is the night to celebrate. They are headed on to the next round, to the semi-finals of this Champions League. And the Italian team, for the first time since 2016, they will not be going to the semi-finals. Huge turn of events, a huge, well, potentially an upset if you've been following Conigliano for any length of time. They have been the team to be between them and back and back, back and forth, back and forth. This Fenerbahce side have come out absolutely guns blazing this season. They have so many weapons. I mean, Anna Cristina, who you saw a lot of in all five sets. She was MVP last time out, and she had more than an entire set's worth of points alone in this match. Of course, there was Helena Fedorovseva with her eight ace serves. If you remember that first set, she had four ace serves in a row. I mean, an incredible statistic alone. Of course, Melissa Vargas as well doing damage with nine points. Just so many weapons. This is a team that has everything in their toolkit. The, the ability to win a Champions League gold medal is well within their reach. So I will be looking forward to seeing them playing against one of the other three teams that have qualified. We have Vakit Bank, Novar, and Izajabashi in the running in the semifinals still. There's a look at the overall points. Venerbahce only getting three points more than Conigliano, but that was due to them coming back there at the end. Ten aces to three. Oop, that was too quick. I'll give you some a couple of highlights, and then we'll be back with some interviews.
Well, no surprise there, Arina Fedorcheva receiving the MVP award. She was unstoppable in the first two sets. She sat down there once they had qualified, but she had, she had 13 points alone and eight of them coming from the ace. Well, there's a look at the second leg, what's happened so far, as mentioned, Vakitbank beating Milan. Novara taking down Stuttgart and Izajabashi taking out Shesha of Poland. And now Corneliano, despite that 3-2 scoreline, they will not be headed on to the semifinals. Instead, it will be Fenerbahce, and deservedly so after that incredible performance. Ultimately, Anna Christina had 29 points, more than one entire set alone. She had one ace and one block. So think about that, 27 just from the attack. Unreturned attacks. That was huge, huge for one player. Emiliano unable to respond. 24 points for Isabel Hack. Three of them from attack and one ace. The entire team had 10 aces for Corneliano. Excuse me, three aces for Corneliano and 10 aces for Fenerbahce. They were just relentless in the serve. Backed it up with the block as well. They had seven. Corneliano only five. And hopefully we'll get a chance to chat to one of these players, any of these players, perhaps one of the coaches about this win. It's been a fantastic journey here for Fenerbahce. We have, well, they got a bright future ahead of them, that's for sure, with some of those young players. And Christina only 18, Rotseva 19 years old. The kind of performances you see out of very experienced veterans of the game and they are putting up those kind of numbers at those ages at that young of an age both those players well that is the stuff of dreams for a coach Headed to the final, as we mentioned, for the first time since 2016. Instead, Fenerbahce, the 2012 champions, are headed to the semifinal. Can they do it again? Can they repeat over 10 years later? Or will it be Vakitbank? They were the 2018, 2017, and 2020, oh, excuse me, 2013 winners, as well as 2022 last season. Another team in the mix, Exajabashi won in 2015. Novara won in 2019. So those are the four teams. Arina, you mix. made it to the semi-final. What's your thought about uh, this match? I'm so proud of my team. Uh, we were working hard for this. And I hope we'll go in this way and we'll show even better game in semi-final. Short and sweet, a woman of very few words, but not much needed to say if you're Fenerbahce or if you're Fedorovceva. She showed everything on the court. She put it all out there. The scoreline shows it, and so do her stats. So, congratulations to Fenerbahce. They're moving on. Joining Navarra Istanbul and Azadjabashi in the semifinals. For now, from myself, Team Michael, and all of us here at the CV Champions League, thanks so much for watching, and we will catch you on the next one.